up, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to HTML and CSS lesson two. And in this video, we're gonna start slicing and saving our images. <laughs> All right then guys, as you can see, I've got this PSD open in Photoshop. And uh, by the way, if you've not downloaded this yet, I've left a link to this in the description. You can go and get that online and download it, open it up in Photoshop. And uh, we're gonna start slicing some images. So to do that, we wanna come down here to this tool. If you right click that, there's three tools, the crop tool, which we don't really need, the slice tool, which we're gonna to use to cut up our images, and then this slice select tool, which we're gonna use later on to reselect the images, name them, resize them if we need to, that kind of thing. So to begin with, just select this slice tool, and then we're gonna zoom in a little bit. What I do is keep hold of Z and kind of swipe right with your mouse. And then you wanna, just draw a border around each one of your images like that, okay? If you double click it now, you can rename it like that. I'll call mine logo. You can change your width and height there if you want to. We don't really need to for this. And then just click okay. So let's zoom out a little bit because we wanna get this banner next. Now, this here is just plain text and we can do this button as well in CSS. So what I'm gonna do is click on these layers. And I'm gonna hide them like that. And we'll just save this banner out as the image. So again, get your slice tool and just draw around the border of the banner. It doesn't have to be perfect, like mine's not perfect there at the bottom, but this will do. Double click that, we'll call it banner. Click OK. And then for these three here, I'm gonna do the same as well as these down here. And what I'll do now is just pause the video because this is gonna be quite boring if you're just watching me slice things. So I'm gonna pause it there, do exactly the same with the rest of the images, then unpause it when I've done everything. All right then guys, as you can see, now I've selected each image that I need. We've got this banner at the top, uh, sorry, the logo at the top, the banner, these three icons here, which I've called CS1, CS2, and CS3. That stands for content spot one, two, and three. Um, I've got this quote here, I've got this map here. I've not done this one here yet. I'll do that now. And we'll call this head. Okay, and then I've not done these little icons right at the bottom. Let's just zoom into those because I'm gonna do something slightly different with these. Now, instead of slicing each icon individually, what I'm gonna do is grab each icon, put them in a row like this, and then I'm gonna slice them all as one image. And the reason I'm doing that is to create what's called an image sprite. And an image sprite is just one image with loads of different icons or small images normally squashed together on that image. Now in the CSS, we can just show one of these icons at a time. That's a cool little trick. And it's gonna save the server from downloading all the different uh, images onto your computer. So it's more efficient to do it this way. I'll show you how to do it later on in the CSS. For now, just worry about slicing this as one image. Make sure you've got sufficient room in between each one like that. All right then, so I'll call this logo hyphen sprite, click OK, and everything else is saved. This one here is called map. If we just go to our slice select tool now, we can double click on each of these slices. You can see that's called map. This one is called head. Um, this one here is called quote, and these, like I say, are all called CS2, CS1, CS3. I've made these ones all the same dimensions because I want them to look neat on the page, so 325 by 150. And then we've got our banner and then the logo at the top. So let's just zoom out, make sure we've got everything, which I think we have. And by the way, normally when I was doing a website like this, I would use Google API to get a proper interactive map on the page. But for this course, because it's like a, an introductory PSD to HTML and CSS one, I just wanna use the image. I'll do something like this in the future. Uh, so what we'll do now to save all those slices is go to file, save for web and devices. And then we're just gonna make sure that each image is what we want it to be. Now, as a general rule of thumb, if it's a photo, I'd use a JPEG, and I'd probably reduce this down to like medium or something like that, or high, depending on what the quality is like. You don't want a large file downloading because then it takes really long to download the file. And we're harking back to those days when we had dial up and you see it coming in at little bits, of a, uh, little bits at a time. That's what happens if you have a really large file. So I'd probably decrease this down to medium or something like that. However, for things like this, where they don't use many colors um, and they're kind of not photo-like, I would change this type into a PNG 8. 
and save it as that. Let's select this one here. I'll change that. No, I'll keep that as a JPEG because it is quite photo-like, but I'm going to change this to medium. And you can see the file size jumps right down here, which is cool. If it's at maximum, you can see it's 87, and at medium, it's just 12. Okay. So let's zoom down here. You can hold down space and then click and drag to go down. These ones here I'll use PNGs for because they're just like little icons almost. PNG, PNG, PNG. By the way, if you do need some form of transparency in the background for your PNGs, we don't in this uh, particular instance, but if you do, then you go to PNG24 and make sure this transparency box, box is tipped. All right, PNG8, PNG8, and this one here, PNG8. What I'll do is we'll call this PNG8 as well. All right, perfect. So now if we just click Save, and we come to this one here, this drop down slices, change this to all user slices, and that's going to save out all the slices that we made into an image folder here. I'm just saving this, by the way, in the root of the JS for Beginners website directory. All right, so let's save now. It's just going to take a couple of minutes. All right. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've got this brackets window open now, and I'm just navigating to a folder to open. Now, these are all the different courses I've got currently on YouTube. I've made a folder in here, the current course that we're doing, called Website. If you want to just create that folder on your desktop or somewhere on your computer, and then within that Website folder, this is where I saved all my images. Uh, you can't see them there because brackets doesn't recognize the PNG files or the JPEGs. But anyway, um, I'm going to open up this uh, website right here, this folder, I'm going to select folder in brackets and you can do that by going to file and open folder. That's what I've done and that's brought up this here. So just click that and open folder and then you can see now the images are at the root level of this folder. There's all our resources. Um, what I'm going to do is just right click here and click new file and I'm going to call this index.html and then that's it. So this is ready now for our next lesson where we're going to start padding out the HTML of this document. So if you have any questions so far, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next lesson.